Greetings, fellow Game Changers. Game Changer Alpha, Rich, checking in again here. I did more playtesting on this here, and this is the video I promised. I'm going to try to mess my ability. What I have now is three skill levels to introduce the game. One of them is going to be the highest. One of them used the Marchese method or a version of the Pi rules. That's the most complicated version. I want to lay out a basic guidelines for how to do this, and then go from here to go from here from this point forward. So, we're going to show you what's going to happen here. This is the introductory level of the game. Remember what I was doing about this is a chess uh, slash American football integration here. Remember the idea is to get your king to the end zone. So, if white can get it, you see this line here? You see these blocks, actually? This represents the goal line. You could pick whatever else one color you want. This represents the line of scrimmage. Probably if I was from American football, they talk about the red zone, which is the end here. So, I normally have those red, but it's just what I did here. So anyhow, I play with it a bit more, and I feel the best place to start, and this is the most basic game here, and this is going to be the initial setup here. You would play this as the introduction level until you get used to it, and then you could have some variety here. Okay. So what we're going to do on the initial kickoff here, okay, is what you're going to do here is you're going to have to set up. See the knight? You have the knight and queen and like that there. And these mirror each other. Okay. Actually, they have mirror opposite one another, so... Let me swap this out, which is what I'm going to do here, so bear with me one second. I meant to do it this way here. Um, wow, okay, you know what? We'll go with this way. They can be mirror images. You got mirror images in that they face each other. See this way? Or going this way where they're opposite. The idea is I don't want to have the queen and rook on one side in the basic version, so that's why we have it this way here. So we have it that way here, so the king side's weaker. So anyhow, the object is to get your king down here. Okay. This is going to be considered after the opening kickoff. We start on the initial side. The defender is going to be this way here. Okay. We start the offense one space forward because it's not going to score. Then what you do is you advance the, down there till the king is captured. Then the line of scrimmage would move. Let's say the king got all the way down here. That's where, that's where let's say he got down here. Then you would set up. Let's say black would go. Let me do this here. Black would then set up his pieces here. All of them. That would be the line of scrimmage. You put the pawns forward, and you would go that way, and you go back and forth till you get the king in there. Pieces move exactly as they do in regular chess. This moves like a chess rook. This moves like a chess king. This moves like a queen. And that moves like a knight. That's a knight. The same thing here. If there was no castling, pawns can go one or two spaces forward, depending on where they are. They can't run to your opponent, obviously. They capture diagonally, and if they advance two spaces, you have a pawn here, you can do en passant. This is not a game, this is a game where you play multiple rounds till you win. One suggestion that came up here, and we'll get to more advanced version, is you can play with multiple pieces and as they're captured or considered injured and out that came up here. I considered, by the way, just to let you look back here, I considered moving that back there, but you really need two spaces here, particularly when you get in the end zone. Let's say you get all the way down here. You need room for it. So, this is the initial opening, and you're going to move back and forth. Okay, you're going to go, once the king gets captured, then that other side would get the ball, so on and so forth. I explained that. So what you have here is that you would move, they move forward exactly, they do alternating one space. But also one thing on offense, if the king can look forward, and let's say can look forward, and can see a piece in a straight line, like a chess queen move, you know, like here laterally forward so long as he's on as long as he's has advanced beyond this line of scrimmage marker here he can then throw the ball forward and he swaps the ball you can do this once okay that's a forward pass and then he can go down that way okay. he can do that and then after he's done that's one move you're only allowed to do that once he however let's move this back here okay. let's say for example i did this here and let's say he went forward like that there. I could then laterally pass. See, when you pass here, okay, he swapped positions with the piece. He swaps positions with the piece there. That's what happens. He swaps positions with the piece. And that's considered a lateral. You could throw it back and forth between pieces. Or you can throw it backwards. You can lateral it backwards. Just like in football. It's like they pass. You swap positions between the two pieces that throw. And when you do that, you can do it. So long as it's not forwards, you can throw it as many times as you want. So, beyond that, you have that set up there. So the next thing you're going to do after that is you're going to go back and forth. And let's say he sets up here. Okay. Then what we do here 
is this piece here. So long as the line of scrimmage is not here. Okay, so long as the line of scrimmage is not there. Okay. The defender then, after let's say he made it all the way up here, the defender would then start one space outside the goal line. The reason why I have that is for the intermediary version of the game here. The intermediary version of the game, we start off like this here. Okay, this is the initial setup. But then once you get past this here, let's say now he gets the ball, he advances down here. The initial setup here, okay, allows free setup. It's not just this initial formation we have set up. You see with all these pieces, we have four of them. See these four here? I don't know why it's not working. Anyhow, let's say all these four pieces here. Uh, okay, bear with me. These four pieces here. All oh, four. I don't know why it's not highlighting, but anyhow. These four pieces here. Offense. He's the offensive side here. These pieces could be set up anywhere behind the pawn structure. They can't be outside the pawns. The game breaks if you do that here. But you can set up the offense with then. This is the Mary version, not the basic version. In the Eden Mary version, the one here, these pieces could set up anywhere on any of the spaces beyond the line, and that's considered a formation. After you do that, the defense would then set up. Set up this here. You can't set up to the outside of the pawns, etc. You have to be lined up this way. They could be anywhere, and this could be anything like that. This could be or anything like that. The defense would set up, the offense would set up first, and then the defense here. And then you go back and forth till you score. And remember what I said about defense, so long as you are not, so long as the line of scrimmage isn't like one away from the goal line, the defense sets up two spaces away here. Okay, this is the, boy, this is acting wonky. So anyhow, this is the intermediary version, which we have here. Now the advanced version consists of, everything starts off the board. Okay, the advanced version. For the initial kickoff, we're going to use the Marquesian method here. Okay, we have all these pieces. What you will have here is one player sets up both sides anywhere on the board. The line of, the line of scrimmage needs to be starting place here. We'll set up anywhere he thinks it's fair on the initial kickoff. Okay. Sets up any place he thinks it's fair. Sets up the configuration pieces any way they want to put them on the board. He sets them up for both sides. We're using the Marchese method here. Anywhere on both sides. Anywhere on both sides, you see this here? Anywhere on both sides, like this here, or anything else. And that's the initial setup. Then the other player, after he sets up, decides which side to play. And the game goes from there. So this one here, you're allowing... I need to move that up one. You're allowing the advanced version. It's very similar to this. But you had an initial kickoff. The initial kickoff, the initial play... You allow one person to set up here and the other person to pick sides. So rather than a default where normally, just so you mean every version, these here would start back like that there, and these start back. Well, okay, these start anywhere in the back row. Hang on. So the initial setup in any Mary version, just to show you, would be like this here. This is the default position. You start, the defender gets to arrange anything along those rows, he's just tighter. For the initial kickoff. So anyhow, you're going to have three levels. One of them had the initial setup to show you again here. Okay. One of them has the initial setup. Remember where we had here. Let me go across. The mirror image, the basic version you have. You have it like this. Okay. Queen. It like that there. Remember, this is the basic version. But like this. And we'll go this way. The basic version we have. Okay, the intermediary version allows setup with the same starting position. Initial kickoff this way here. With free placement of those pieces. And the advanced version, same thing after the initial play and deciding what side to play. You can set up wherever you want with both sides here, with the defender being forward. In the advanced version of the game, uh, you both sides would initially, after the initial setup, would end up setting up on both sides. So anyhow, just an idea here. Feel free to post some comments below. I'm going to be uploading this video now. I've done three videos today. So anyhow, that's it. I do want to thank you for watching. Uh, may your die always roll five. Remember, don't hate the player. Change the game. Okay, I'm out of here. Take care. Thank you for your time. Bye.